The Immortal and Subtle Rue, Understanding the Soul Listen. When we think of life and the human body, we often focus on the physical aspects such as appearance, health, and functionality. However, there is one entity that is often overlooked but plays a vital role in our existence, the soul or ru. In many cultures and religions, the concept of the soul is deeply intertwined with our understanding of life and death. In this video, we will explore the concept of ru as described by Ibn al qayyim and its significance in our lives. According to Ibn al qayyim the soul or ru is a distinct entity that differs completely from the physical body. It is a subtle, ecclesiastical, and enlightened living body that flows into the depths of our organs like water in a rose or oil in an olive. This description highlights the delicate and ethereal nature of the soul, suggesting that it is something beyond our physical perception. The idea of a subtle body that exists within us may seem foreign to some, but many ancient civilizations and belief systems have similar concepts. In Hinduism, for instance, the concept of prana is believed to be present in all living beings and is responsible for their vitality. In Chinese culture, qi is considered to be the vital force that flows through our bodies and maintains balance. The ru, according to Ibn al qayyim also has a significant role in our bodily functions. As long as our organs are able to receive its impressions, the soul remains attached to them and provides us with feeling and movement. This suggests that our emotions, thoughts, and actions are not just controlled by our physical bodies, but are also influenced by our soul. But what happens when our organs are unable to accept the impressions of the root? As Ibn al qayyim explains, when our organs are spoiled due to the dominance of diseased elements, the root leaves the body and heads towards the world of souls. This highlights the idea of death as the separation of the soul from the physical body. While this may sound morbid, it also brings up some thought-provoking questions about the nature of our existence. Is our physical body just a vessel for our soul? What happens to our soul after death? These questions have puzzled humans for centuries and have led to various beliefs and theories about the afterlife. In Islam, the concept of ru holds a significant place, and it is believed that after death, the soul moves on to the next stage of existence. The state of the soul after death depends on one's actions and beliefs during their lifetime, and it is believed that a purified and enlightened soul will experience eternal bliss in paradise. But beyond religious beliefs, the concept of Ru also sheds light on the importance of nurturing our inner selves. In a world where we are constantly bombarded with external stimuli, it is easy to neglect our spiritual well-being. However, Ibn al qayyims description of the Ru reminds us that our souls require care and attention just like our physical bodies. So how can we take care of our souls? The answer lies in self-reflection and introspection. Taking time to connect with ourselves, whether through prayer, meditation, or simply quiet contemplation, can help us maintain a healthy mind, body, and soul. Additionally, Practicing compassion, kindness, and forgiveness towards ourselves and others can also nourish our souls. In a way, Ibn al qayyims description of the Ru serves as a reminder that there is more to life than just our physical existence. Our souls are immortal and continue to exist even after our physical bodies perish. Understanding and nurturing our souls can bring balance and harmony to our lives. In conclusion, the concept of Ru or soul as described by Ibn al qayyim offers a unique perspective on the human existence. It highlights the importance of our spiritual well-being and reminds us of the delicate and profound nature of our souls. Whether one believes in the existence of the soul or not, one thing is certain taking care of our inner selves is vital for a fulfilling and meaningful life. As Ibn al qayyim said, the cure for all the diseases of the heart is seeking knowledge and applying it. So let us strive to nurture our souls and seek knowledge that will bring us closer to understanding the mysteries of life and death. K.I.K. Knowledge is King. Get into the know. Please like and share. Thanks for watching.